Welcome back, thanks for watching. In today's clip, that cringy dope Joe Scarborough and a literal state media mouthpiece from the BBC once again prove me correct when I say that the left is particularly dangerous because they will always see their extreme authoritarian actions as not because it's different. You and I have had this conversation many times, Joe. Look at the state of the US economy at the moment compared to all other industrialized economies in the world. And it's not just the state of communist California that's doing so well. It is the United States writ large. Uh, growth is higher, inflation is lower, unemployment is lower. This, you know, it's, it's uh, in, in global terms, this is a rocket ship. Come on, don't bullshit me. The economy is so great that everybody's broke, in debt, and can't afford groceries because inflation Inflation has stayed high while wages stay the same. But ignore your wallet, ignore your debt, and just trust the state media operative. Jared Baker's um, article about the state of Russia and the state of the United States, saying how absurd it is to compare Russia to the United States at the moment. He makes a very funny comment at the beginning in a kind of spoof, saying, yeah, that's because there are so many immigrants queuing up to get into Russia at the moment. At least they don't have an immigration right. problem because millions of people are not trying to get there with the lucky ones but to say that you know joe biden locks up his political enemies or if you're a journalist you get thrown into jail if you report critical things of this administration or uh, that there's any that the justice department is warped one way or the other it's it's ridiculous i mean there's there is clearly no there's comparison insanity. yeah um i'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there except joe biden and his institutional support base are doing some of these things let me quickly show you some examples obviously an openly pro-biden partisan da's and judges are going after donald trump on trumped up charges just before a presidential election where he's the sitting president's biggest opponent in fact this sounds almost exactly like what putin did to his biggest opponent it's ridiculous i mean there's there is clearly no it's comparison insanity. you can be sure that many russians believe what happened to him was completely justified thanks to their state media. You may think that J6 protesters deserve everything they're getting, and there might be a few that do, but a vast majority of the people who were actually charged with crimes were peaceful. January the 6th. Since that day, more than 1,200 people have been charged for their assault on the Capitol. Nearly 900 of them have been convicted or pled guilty. Collectively to date, they have been sentenced to more than 840 years in prison. And are we the baddies? It's ridiculous. I mean, there's, there is clearly no comparison. We went through a year's worth of Democrat riots because the media were telling people that unarmed black men were being hunted down by police. And in regards to those Democrat riots, consider this. Four years of left-wing Democrat rioting and looting resulted in not only charges being dropped, but cities paying out millions to the very people that rioted and looted. Over 60,000 cops were injured in 2020 alone, but I never saw any bloodthirsty media cheering on prosecutions or highlighting injuries officers. In fact, our leaders bailed these people out and Democrat DAs let them off the hook only to throw the book at their political opponents. And this is nothing new. Remember how the Tea Party was treated by the Obama Biden regime? These people were entirely peaceful and yet the Democrats and the media were constantly focusing attacks on them. Some were so ready to blame Tea Party for violence that they wrongly attributed the Colorado shooting to them. Oops, I guess. When Republicans protested lockdowns, the media told us they were dangerous threats that were killing old people. While doctors put out declarations stating that COVID somehow doesn't affect left-wing protests. Left-wingers can even intimidate SCOTUS judges at their homes before a ruling, which is a crime, unless you're a Democrat. Over time, this has created an environment where the left and Democrats' opponents are essentially criminalized. And then there's the Biden regime's attacks on his critics. How about Matt Taibbi, who's become a target of Democrats and Biden ever since he reported and testified about the government censorship of their opponents on Twitter, which obviously happened before Elon Elon Musk bought it and has also now become a target of the Biden regime and his institutional support base. Well, he did take away their election manipulation tool after all. They even put a guy in jail for making anti-Hillary Clinton memes. The media doxed the kid for making hilarious pro-Trump animated GIFs. Remember when they tracked down an elderly old lady for having a pro-Trump website? They formed a secret Orwellian disinformation board that was led by a hyper-partisan Democrat that literally used her position to demonize her opponents or the Biden 
coordinated attack on the New York Post for reporting the truth about his son. I'm sure I'm forgetting some other examples, but basically, America isn't quite Russia yet, but we're definitely getting increasingly closer. The only reason it's getting closer is because the Democrats and their institutional support base have convinced themselves that their opponents are literal inhuman monsters and a threat to democracy, when in reality, they are the actual threats to democracy. The media and Democrats are pumping out insane amounts of propaganda, insisting that Donald Trump will do all of these things. But he couldn't. He just does not have that institutional support base to carry it out. But guess who does? Joe Biden. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. If you're still here, you might as well hit that like button and make sure to keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one.